Hello. Today we're going to be talking about projects and environments within Nutanix Calm. A project defines a set of Active Directory users or groups with a common set of requirements, such as a team of engineers collaborating on an engineering project. Let's get started. So here we are uh, logged into Prism Central and on the Calm page. We're going to go down to this bottom button here. We see projects, and we're going to go ahead and create a new project for today's uh, walkthrough. We're going to call this uh, dev. So in this instance, it can be a, a group of developers uh, working on a dev environment. So I'm going to go ahead and add some users and groups. So if we add a user here, I will go ahead and add myself. Uh, I'll choose consumer here. We have a list of all the various roles types uh, on our documentation online, so you can get some more info there. And I'll also add a group, say we have some administrators, and I'll select them as project admins. Next we get to choose if this is uh, local or cloud or local and cloud. So we're going to go ahead and do local and cloud today. We're going to pick our single AHV cluster we have defined and any uh, networks that we want. Uh, we just have the demo VMs in this environment, and so I'm going to select that one and choose it as a default. And if you want any quotas as well, we can fill those out here. Uh, I'm going to skip that. And for GCP, I'm going to go ahead and select uh, my Google Cloud environment. Now, if we had a uh, ESXi or Azure or uh, AWS accounts, they would show up here in this dropdown, but we only have GCP defined on this Prism Central instance. I'm going to go ahead and hit save. And so that's about it from the project perspective. Uh, the other thing we will want to fill out is the environment section. So the environment is, uh, you can think of it as a set of defaults for marketplace launches. So when we as in Nutanix create uh, these preceded blueprints for our customers to consume, there's a lot of settings that we're not aware of in, in your own environment. So you can come in here and define those settings. And then when you do a marketplace launch, those settings will get picked up by Calm. So we're just going to do some basic uh, you know, defaults. Again, these could be overridden uh, when you go to launch the blueprint, but just kind of think of these as the fallback settings. So I'm going to add in this macro, column application name. This uh, allows me to keep things separate uh, from various applications when this VM is defined on the hypervisor. I'm just going to pick this you know, default image. Uh, we're going to go with this base uh, disk image. And any of these you can also set as runtime. So if you want your users to be able to manually configure this. So we're going to do two vCPUs, one core, and say four gigs of RAM. But maybe I want my end users to be able to configure that. So we'll, we'll click the, the running man icon there. I'm not going to add any uh, VDIS or GPUs here. Uh, we will add a network adapter uh, with the demo VMs that we just selected. And finally, let's, let's add a couple of keys. Uh, it is best practice to have one password-based and one key-based uh, credential. So I'm going to go ahead and add a new credential here. I'm going to start with the password base, a pretty simple one. I'm just going to call it root, because some of my disk images use the, the root uh, login. I'm going to go ahead and enter in the password, hit done. OK. And uh, we can hit save here. We can see the environment saved. And we're going to go ahead and uh, add a key base credential as well. So I'm going to call this CentOS. A lot of the marketplace blueprints use a CentOS image. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and change this to key. So now let's go ahead and generate a key pair. All right, so we're going to come over to the terminal here and type in SSH key gen to generate a key. I'm going to specify it's an RSA key. And then I'm going to name the key. And finally, I'm going to specify the username and the domain. So now we can go ahead and cat out the Calm Demo key. So this is the private key. We'll use the public key here in just a little bit. So I'm going to paste that private key in here. And that's all we have to do for the AHV uh, environment. So I'm going to hit Save real quick. 
And then just to walk through, we're gonna go through a GCP setup as well. Uh, for each of your various clouds, you'll need to do this that, that you're working with. Uh, but this, the same uh, properties apply. These are all just gonna be defaults. So I'm gonna do the same column application name. Uh, we see here it, it wants us to pick uh, something with a lowercase uh, name. That's a GCP requirement. So I'm just going to start uh, prepend VM dash uh, that. So go ahead and select whichever zone makes sense for you. I'm based out of the East Coast of the US. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the East Coast. Pick a couple defaults here. So I'm going to do a standard disk and a CentOS image. You also have to pick networking. I'm just gonna do the defaults here. And this is where the public key comes into play for GCP. So I'm gonna go ahead and cat out the public key. Now for AHB deployments, we often have a uh, instance public key macro that you have to paste in when you go ahead and launch uh, these applications. Finally, these are, these are all optional, the, the management section, so I'm gonna uh, highlight over that for now. And finally, we're gonna go ahead and do the connection. I'm gonna do the CentOS key that we selected earlier. Go ahead and hit save. And there we have it. Now we're ready to go ahead and deploy marketplace applications. And we can also, we have this development uh, project defined for all of our development engineers to work on together. Thanks, have a nice day.